Hello everybody, my name is Sonic and welcome to another reaction video or welcome to a reaction video over another reaction video of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Yep, and this is another reaction video over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate God, I love this new Yeah, I'm making content for it, just and then it'll upload it like I said previously, but I'm not gonna say when it'll be uploaded, but it'll be uploaded. Anyways, let's go on this. Look at that. Their final DLC fighter revealed. Sakurai has revealed their final DLC fighter. For version 7.0 of the Bioleth joined Smash House. There is Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Mr. Sakurai present Bioleth. Yep, gonna do a reaction video over this, so let's just click on it. Yeah, it's the newest Steel Super Fire. Like, I apparently, they showed this so early in the morning, I wasn't able to see it live. Nope. They showed it, like, at, like, 7.30 a.m. at my time. My time. Like, what? I, did I have to be awake around, like, 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning to see this? I wasn't able to see this when it was live in the morning. So, here we go. So, click on this. We're going to check this out. The new Steel Super Fighter. Here we go. This is it, everybody. Ooh. Oh yeah. Ooh. Oh, oh, there it is. The new DLC fighter. I like how they like show this. They like show question mark, question mark, question mark when they were showing this live. What's that? Ooh. Oh snap. Uh oh. Purple the time has finally come to unleash the forbidden spell of Zaharas upon our enemies. <laughs> What the heck was that? I know it's fire level. Look at that. A new fire level fighter. Deal Sue Fighter. Final Deal Sue Fighter. What were you thinking? Charging right into an enemy's trap? Uh, from this game. You and I are one. I too am trapped within this void. Mm. In time, our hearts and minds will cease to be. Huh. Are you prepared to die? Violet? Uh. <clears throat> nope. I thought as much. I also do not wish to die. And yet... There is no other choice. Uh. You must join Smash. What the? Oh, like, what? Join so Smash funny. Brothers already! Uh. What in the world are you waiting for? Funny. Yeah. That, uh, that's funny. Invitation. She's holding the invitation letter. What the? Okay, that's funny how they do it. Pilot joins Smash! So joining Smash consumes even the darkness itself! What the heck? Oh, this is so weird. Well, how many Fire Emblem fighters are there gonna be? What's the last one? The last DLC fighter. Dude, look at those characters. Dude, that sword. Oh, God, seriously, how many sword fires you got in this game? Holy crap. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, uh, um, so Banana Boy. Sooner than expected. I see. Too many swordsmen are there? Mm hmm. And you, you wield the sword as well? What will you do? Huh. Funny. Oh. Huh. So that is how you plan to win the day? So be it. I reward your cleverness this time. What's that doing that changing a female? What's that have to do with it? What the heck? Oh Swords. Oh that's How is this? Huh? You get more swords. Look at that, I love that envelope. Oh, huh. well, Violet recruits Violet. Ah, a female fighter. The female and male version of the same character. Oh. Whoa, look at look on his face. Have anyone? You should be able to handle the hero's relic. Oh. Look at that. With Aaron Five, mm. strike with superior reach. Oh, what? Oh, that new too. Here's overwhelming power. Jeez, oh, there we go. Oh, uh, Donkey Kong now. Unleash the blinding speed of Fail Not. Oh. Dude, the sword of the creator. Each Dude. weapon matches a direction. Wow, okay. Seriously? Aha! Those, all, all those characters in the game. Your will and mine be now as one! Ooh, ultimate! Ooh, ooh. To you! Both sides of time 
got revealed. Ooh. Through Smash, show the world. Show the world. Cool. I actually like that. You got three houses. It's that where I make a joke. Hey, it's like Harry Potter meets Fire Emblem. Uh, that joke. <laughs> hey, <laughs> Sakurai. What is he doing? Still putting that up. Hey, dude. I don't know. Hi. Yes, there you have it. <laughs> Byleth from Fire Emblem Three Houses is joining the battle. Fire Emblem floating. Three Houses was released just last summer, so it's still very <laughs> new. Even so, you'll soon be able to play as them in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Oh! This release is planned yeah. for January 28th. Mm -hmm. You'll have instant access if you have the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass. And it I will also be available for purchase individually. In case you're not familiar with Fire Emblem or Three Houses, I'll explain a few things. So not don't worry. Okay. Lay it on me. First off, what is Fire Emblem? It's really hard to pronounce in Japanese. What is it? The producer said it's okay if I just say Fire Emblem. <laughs> fire Emblem, okay. But when writing it, if you don't write Fire Emblem, the Fire Emblem police will come and get you. So please Ooh. be careful. Okay, okay. Emblem. Uh, the series first entry launched in Japan on the Famicom in 1990. You could say it was a pioneer in the genre of tactical role-playing games. Cool. You might be wondering what makes it right. particularly tactical. Mm -hmm. Well, it's tactical in that it simulates combat. You can think of it as moving pieces in a board game. Or in other words, a game in which you advance units across a grid and battle. I like the music. God, I always like the music. This, when we talk game. about tactical games of that era, there were lots of ones in which you command tanks, aircrafts, and so on. But Fire Emblem was unique because each unit was a specific character, sort of like in role-playing games. Mm. Plus, something made it stand out from other Nintendo products. Ooh. Characters could permanently die. <laughs> Oh. That's pretty yep. direct language, though. So perhaps we should just mm -hmm. say they're sleeping with the fishes. Okay, that's nice. Say that but thing. really, if a character yeah. fell in battle, you lose that unit. They'd be gone, and you couldn't use them again. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Recent entries in the series maintain this concept of permadeath to some degree in classic mode and what oh, have you. But a lot of games now allow strategic withdrawals, so to speak. Uh, it's the fall. It's like in, in the, the older D &D. games, your units would really be gone, never to be mentioned again. Oh, Scary. God. That does sound scary. Like the Dungeons and Dragons are told like Chronicles of War, with increasingly distinct characters and engrossing scenarios. Where's system? Scenes and settings. Huh. Several characters also appear in the Super Smash Bros. series, and six of the seven can use a counterattack. It's their yeah. down special. My god, how many There's Fire Emblem actually characters a reason for this. When I was considering how to incorporate Fire Emblem fighters into Super Smash Bros. Melee, I thought it might be interesting to reflect the turn-based nature of the original game. First comes your opponent's turn. They attack and you counter. Next comes your turn. Okay, interesting. A part of how the game was made. And now, or Fire Emblem like Three that. Houses is the 17th game in the series. Yeah. Right. People who aren't Japanese in particular might be thinking, 17 games? There are that many? Huh. Well, if you include Fire Emblem Heroes in the remakes, but you don't include the Satellaview game, Tokyo Mirage Sessions Sharp FE, and Fire Emblem Warriors, then it comes out to 17 games. So oh. Let's try saying them in the Fire Emblem Can You Say It Challenge. Huh. I'll give Fire it a try. Dude. 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 <laughs> he knows all. Look at that. Hey, Roy. Dude. Wow. Oh. There you go. 17. <laughs> Dude. That's a lot of dudes. So you saw how I was counting in a weird way, right? Yeah. I was counting in binary. Okay. Huh? This is zero. Fold this here and you get one, and then you get two, then two plus one equals three. So huh. this would be four, five, six, seven, and eight. You lost and me. And then you get sixteen. I don't remember. Add one and you get seventeen. Seventeen. Awesome, isn't it? Okay. Yeah, sure. I don't remember how you, you can do actually that. count up well. to thirty-one on one hand. Well, one hand, thirty-one and one hand. And if like you one, use both two, hands, three, four, you can count all the way up to one thousand twenty-three. What? 1023. 
If you've given up counting the knots in a tatami mat, you could always give it a go. Lord sometimes. I'll try it on Lord. What is Fire Emblem Three Houses? In Japanese, the male version of the main character is called Bereto, and the female version is called Beresu. But in English, they share the same name, Byleth. Byleth. Byleth becomes a professor who ends up leading one of three academic houses. Once you've chosen a house, you guide them through their school life, and, well, you end up fighting the other houses. Harry Potter and Fire Emblem. That's what I was After a certain incident, five years pass, and you meet up with your grown-up students to battle against the other houses in their regions. Jeez. It's a very sad game in which your former allies oh. become enemies, turn hostile, and try to kill you. Oh. Wow. They were playing the Fire Emblem to understand game, to the concept of Fire Emblem Three Houses, nope. they played an early version of the game before its release. So if people want to see me play it, I'll play one. I've done the same thing on before, my channel with the Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild, for example. Why is Zelda: Breath of the Wild? Because I couldn't yeah. wait until launch to experience it, or we'd have never made it. Oh, in time. For did that the title, same I borrowed thing. an early version of the game for two days, ran around all the areas, saw the ending, and realized for the first time. Hmm, I guess we can't really have Breath of the Wild's Princess Zelda as a fighter. Oh. oh. Really? I did the same this time, but with there being three houses and multiple endings, hmm. it was really hard to get a feel for it. I wonder why. I and played of the course, game like there no. weren't any walkthroughs I could reference. Hmm. Wow. Yeah, like the game has multiple routes and the outcome of each is very different. <laughs> Huh. Your experience will vary depending on the route you choose, and many of the characters you meet will adopt different roles in the story. Yeah. I'll try to avoid spoilers when I'm talking about the fighter. I hope yeah, you'll understand. Yeah, it's spoilers. It's all good. I don't know what Before I'll play Before my demonstration, one. Right, I should well. point out that when I did the Terry Bogard showcase video, I well, mentioned that it was recorded a month in advance. Terry Bogard, but this time, we have to account for the holidays and such, so we're filming two months in advance of this video's release. Uh, right now, it's actually November. Dude, what the heck? Therefore, some of what I'm about to show you might differ a bit from the it's finished 2020. version. It's not, it's not 2019 anymore. As always, anymore. I'm using a special in-game camera and such for demonstration purposes. Okay. Here I go. Sweet, let's see it. I need to try and beat the game the same way he does it. Yeah, it's part of the challenge pack 5. From Fire Emblem 3 Houses, joins the battle. So, nice. this is our new fighter, Byleth. Hey. Hello. Look at him. With Sadly, they're lacking in mobility. It's maybe a bit better than Robin's, but that's oh. about all you can say for them. Throws are yeah. not their strong point either. Their grab lacks range. But actually, oh. you could say that they're distance demon. Ooh. Mm. The hero's relic they use changes depending on the direction you input with the stick. Each Ooh. of the hero's relics is a weapon that appears in Fire Emblem Three Houses. Mm. They look like bones, oh. and there's a reason for that. Mm. First, let's talk about the weapon Byleth uses for Where? upward inputs, the Sword of the Creator. Nice map. The Sword of the Creator here is Byleth's default weapon. They use it for flurry attacks and tilt attacks, such as oh. down tilt attacks, where it takes Ooh. the form of a whip. Ooh. They also use the sword for dash attacks and He's other got moves. four controllers in front of him. Dash attacks. For their up smash attack, oh. they'll whip the sword upward to launch enemies in the air. Hopefully, yeah. Uh, for their, their up air attack, air they'll wave the whip sword overhead. Oh, my god. The hit detection for this attack lasts for a relatively long time. The up special move is really something. The sword extends like this. Hmm. Allowing you to huh? do things like this. Oh! Dang. It was pretty terrifying how I knocked him into the air with that attack. And in addition, you can do awful things like this. Oh! Oh! That said, you'll launch opponents upward until their damage reaches a certain percentage. Oh. Okay. Dang, that's almost like a meteor smash. Exceed that percentage Dude. and you'll need to be careful. You may find it helpful to mid-air dodge. The heck, man? I've hey, already shown like this, a... but you can also use it to latch onto edges. Yep. So, that's the up special. Link used to be able to do that. Now, for the sideways inputs. This is Eredfar, the same name as the weapon from Celtic mythology. First, we'll go through the forward and back air attacks. As you can see, they have a long reach. Like so. Marth's air attack keeps opponents in check too, right? Mm. 
Well, okay. Larth. If Byleth does the same thing, you'd win out, so you should be able to beat it. Ooh. Next, the side smash attack. This also has a long range. It'll uh -oh. connect even from here. Ooh. God. <laughs> yep. Also, if you add an upward tilt, it will be stronger. Feel stronger. And if you've knocked an opponent down, the side attack won't hit unless you add a downward tilt to aim for them. I can't go. Oh. By the way, the tip of the lance is more powerful. Okay. The shaft part is weaker. Hmm. So it's not suited to close combat. Oh. It won't deal much damage, and it won't launch opponents far. Hmm. That's, a... That's why, as a rule, you want to hit with the blade part aimed upward. Huh. Ouch. Talking about this attack. Or downward in this case. Do it before I get close Next, to you. Next, the side special. I guess. Oh. Oh, swing with extreme Byleth reach. Byleth will simply swing the lance like this. But again, it has hmm. excellent reach. For example, that. even nice. when your opponent is at this distance, it'll still hit. Oh. Ah. Yeah, okay. God, this character. Actually, you can do a smash attack to charge forward a little. Ooh, like this. Switch takes, Dragon's takes, Liu. Sarah in the final smash. But as you'd That's, expect, yeah. it can be easily shielded, so be careful. Oh. That's nice. Use it in midair and you'll carve up a large area. I could trade offs. Returning to the side air attacks from earlier, they have great horizontal reach, but they lack verticality. So this complements it well. Although you'll be vulnerable when you land. Mm. Okay. Now for the downward inputs. To heaven and earth. For these, Byleth will use an axe called Emir. Oh, oh geez. It's named after a weapon that appears in Ugaritic myth. You constantly change First, your weapons. Down air it God. really is strong. He's, he's changing weapons. You have multiple you can weapons. You try for a meteor effect with this attack. God. There goes Next Bowser. Next is the down smash attack. <laughs> a heavy swing of the axe back and Jeez, forth. Man. As you can see, it has a great deal of launch power. Mm. Okay. And for the down special... Byleth channels all their energy into a devastating strike. Ooh. It's a bold move, similar to the Falcon Punch, but here's what makes it different. Falcon <laughs> Punch. When readying the move, there's a super armor effect. Oh. Really, man? Yeah, which allows you to withstand an attack. Oh. Wow, okay. Just so you know, if you execute a Falcon <laughs> Punch at about the same time, it plays out like this. It's a bit slower than the Falcon Punch, but due wow. to the Super Armor effect, you have the advantage. Dude, it's just like Falcon Punch. I have to try not to Another do that with Donkey Kong. Is that it lets you pass through platforms. The Giant Punch. While you're charging up, you can breeze past platforms like this to reach a lower area. Dude. It won't let you jump, but you could use it as a surprise attack. Oh, jeez. Also, this you guy. can turn around during the move. <laughs> The swing takes a while. Just like so if an punch. opponent runs behind you during the move, you can quickly change direction. Ouch. Your whole watch out for that. Even though it can be hard to land a hit with this move, it can be really effective when used against a group Dude. of opponents. Oh. Plus, even if you fail to land a direct hit, any opponents on the ground nearby will still be launched a little. Mm. This attack too It's well. as if the quaking of the ground launches them. Pretty powerful sword. Excuse me for Belgium. Oh, By the way, nasty. earlier I talked a little bit about the other Fire Emblem characters moves. Mm -hmm. I don't recommend using this down special against fighters from the Fire Emblem series. Because oh. you'll just get loads of counters. Uh -huh. It hits with that much power in a single attack. Ow. Counters can actually multiply the power of blocked attacks. And using easily anticipated attacks like this can just get you hit by counter after counter. Next, we have the new trigger. The bow you use is called Faelma, which oh, shares its name with like the, the bow from the Knights of the Round Table. Kong. It only appears in a few neutral moves. You've got the neutral air Fail attack. Not. This attack is similar to a move of Pitts and other fighters like him. It lets ah, you spin the weapon yeah. around. God, Lou. It's also easy to create certain combos okay. with That's cool. And with the neutral special, you'll let loose an arrow. Fire the bow. 
It seems pretty straightforward, right? Bow. But there are a few noteworthy aspects to this bow. First, the biggest difference between this bow and Lynx is that once you enter the command, you can keep charging until it's ready. Ah. You can't release it partway through the charge, so when it does fire, the arrow travels at high speed. It's also very powerful. Wow. That said, you can still cancel out of the stance using the shield button. Oh. You can also change direction while in the stance. My gosh. It works up until this point, but if you keep holding the button, you'll unleash a powerful arrow that looks like a beam of light. Ow, man! You can perform this move by keeping the button held down. You charge up power like so, charge uh -oh. a bit more, and then fire. But again, you'll need to take care when using this move. For one, when you've powered up the move to its max, there's no way to cancel out of it. Not even with the shield button. In other words, you're committed to firing it. So you see, mm -hmm. a situation like this is pretty terrible. Ooh, this little fox doesn't counter it. God, there's Once lots of ways to stand, counter this character. You won't be able to do anything. Vulnerable. Oh man. Which means it's quite the risky attack to use wow. against fighters who have a move with a reflector effect. Wow. But you could always just aim into the fray, as it is, after all, a long-range move. I like this character. Then I like how. Deal a sudden blow to opponents. Huh. I like how so you need this. to think carefully when using this projectile weapon. Bailey's nice. final smash is called Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. That's In the original game, there's a move called Ruptured Ooh, Heaven. Music. This is an enhanced version. Progenitor God Ruptured Heaven. Ah, Japanese. Ah, it was in Japanese. As you can see, you team up with the mysterious Sothis and ah. launch an attack together. Sothis. Yeah, Sothis. Mm hmm. Those heavy weight players. Now, let's talk about oh. the color variations. It's okay. set up so that the default and odd numbered color variations are male, while the even numbered ones are female. Okay. However, the third, fourth, and fifth colors are, as you can see, reminiscent of the house leaders. Uh -huh. Yeah. Those of you who've played their original game will, of course, understand what I'm referring to. Uh, I haven't played them, so I have no idea. The color is based on Sothis, who you just saw earlier. Oh, that's cool. And the 7th and 8th variations have a different hair color, which is based on based on something that occurs in the course of the original game's story. Won't spoil it. Did okay. see this variation in the final smash? Well, alright. I have to play the game to know. That's the only way I'll know. Yep, pretty much. Hey, there's a flying horse in the background. Pegasus. Next, I'll introduce the stage. For this one, we of course tried to recreate the place where you spend most of the game. Garrick Mock Monastery. Garrick Mock Monastery. This is how Garrick Mock Monastery is laid out in the original game. Huh. From these, we chose to have it cycle through the marketplace, reception hall, bridge, and cathedral, all in one stage. A stage? Go from one place? It's the type of stage that rotates through different areas, such as these four. I remember something like that in Brawl. Let me introduce each of the guests that appear in these four areas. There was a stage like the Brawl, wasn't there? The first saw. area is the marketplace. I think this is where a lot of people come to do their shopping. Mm. Okay. The guests that appear here are students Blue of the Blue Lion's house. Dimitri, Dedu, what? and Ingrid. Not Dimitri, Dudu, or Ingrid. Huh. Their names are a bit difficult to say. Dimitri, They're largely from the Holy Ingrid, Kingdom of Fargus. Since it's a kingdom, that means they have a monarchy. For that reason, I guess oh. you could say Dimitri is the future king. He had quite the difficult life and may or may not end up with just one eye. Mm. It's an unfortunate one, that one. Ouch. There are vendors on either side. In the original game, these are important booths where you buy all sorts of things, oh. but... Uh, here you can break them, you see. Ah. Oh, no! If you do break them, the stage will expand to the left and right. Oh, okay. Bigger now. I wonder where people will buy their supplies now. <laughs> nah, funny. And in the background, you can see the gatekeeper. You often pass through this area in Fire Emblem Three Houses, and you end up talking to him a lot. Huh. Moving through these areas is possible thanks to this mysterious Ooh. platform. Just when it seems like you've come to a stop. Dude, that stage is like the brawl. Crashing back down. Broken through the ceiling and slammed into the building. 
And the guests in the reception hall are Edelgard, Dorothea, and Petra of the Black Eagle. Slytherin or something? Take note, it's not spelled Edelgard. They're from the Adrestian Empire. And as such, they embrace their military might. Edelgard, military might. Edelgard is one of the characters who is central to the conflict. Edelgard. Depending on the path you take, she'll go through some terrible ordeals. Oh. You'll notice there are prominent chandeliers above the stage. It's possible uh, to knock them down. Not again. Like on the... Uh, one, the... However, Violet can't punch actually out reach stage. it, even though it's their stage. <laughs> you can reach it with other fighters, though. Oh, can't reach it, but some can. So, it's okay. nice if you can work your way up there by getting lucky and being launched up, or it's perhaps by bad. using another fighter as a stepping stone. There we go. I made it. <laughs> and you can knock it down. Also, you can break this table. Oh. oh. Like so. Wow, man. Why'd you break your furniture, Just like the sign dude. that reads Fooding Kazan in the Suzaku Castle stage, it can break if you launch the opponent into it at close range. Oh. My gosh, dude. Next up, the bridge. The camera rotates 90 degrees, creating this long area. It's very wide indeed. This place. And that Pegasus in the background. Flying horse. It's similar to the bridge of Elden stage. The guests are from the Golden Deer, Golden Claude, Deer. Hilda, and Lawrence. They belong to the Lester Alliance. Yeah, it's like Harry Potter. The house is... Seriously, what the heck? Because it's an alliance Lawrence, of many noble Claude, families, you could say Hilda. that they have a wide assortment of members. And Claude is the sharpest of the bunch. Uh, Incidentally, both Claude and Hilda are the names of characters that appear in Genealogy of the Holy War, the fourth title in the Fire Emblem series. Huh. I guess once you've reached the 17th game and are creating 40 characters for each new entry, you're bound to get a bit of name overlap. No. The naming process must be tough. Hey, mm. it looks like the Pegasus Knight is busy training. It's a Pegasus Knight in the background. As for the bridge's design, it's just a long pathway, plain and simple. You mm -hmm. can expect plenty of blows to be exchanged at the edges of the screen. Ah! You could also say it's a place where the fail knot really shines, mm -hmm. and in this sense, I think it suits the Golden Deer perfectly. Suits that weapon perfectly, huh? Here, hold on, blow back, fire, blow back at you. Fox, Falco, the wolf. The last area is the cathedral, only Pit. with some platforms you can pass through. The guests appearing in the cathedral are Seda, mm. Flane, and Rhea. Seda. There's Seda, who appears to have an extremely strong bond with his sister, Flane. Seda. She seems to be under the protection of him and Rhea, who you can see huh. fighting during the opening of Fire Emblem Three Houses. Oh. All three have character quirks related to their true identities. Why is another character from Harry Potter for some reason? I feel that Flane reason. might be saying shush at this point, so I'll leave it at that. Oh? Ooh. This is a simple area of the stage. All it has are these platforms. Being the last area, it may be a place where some intense battles will be waged. It'll cycle through each location in about two and a half minutes. Oh, okay. That's cool. Let's see life in action. Okay, Joker. today we'll have a tag team battle in Squad Strike with the what? DLC team pitted against Fire Emblem protagonists from throughout All the, the DLC ages. fighters. That'll give us precisely five players per side. Against Fire Emblem All characters. Right, here we go, Joker. What the heck? All the DLC fighters. Joker! Why do you do that? And Hero! Okay. What are you killing a lot for? Really made a lot, huh? Banjo! No! Banjo. By now, I think you know what I'm doing. <laughs> But basically, I'm trying to defeat all five opponents with just the professor here. There we go. But oh, as expected, okay. it's going to be a pretty tough battle, so I'm using anything I can get. Funny. Fuck we use them, just gonna use them only with it's this. It's not gonna land that easily. Uh, uh oh, this is bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks challenging. Will I try and do this myself? I better keep my distance. Like who does it? Oh snap. I'll use this chance to attack. Got him. That's scary. He's invincible for a moment here. Huh? Huh? Lots of explosives. Ouch. Ooh, snap. Perfect shield of that, huh? Huh. Ouch. Good one. Mm-hmm. Perfect shield like this. Like this, or like so. 
No anti air, huh? Okay. There. The soccer ball connected. Soccer eye. Right. So let's do with just this character, not the other DLC fighters. Good. Man, There's no. mom. Damn, so good. You're in a good spot, oh, mom. Snap, mother rail. Ooh. Ah, I shouldn't have taken that. Gardevoir. Well, I guess no one uses projectiles. At this uh, point, it doesn't matter if Gardevoir's there or that's not. That's funny. Uh oh. I feel like the enemy might get this smash ball. Yeah. See? They got it. That's bad. That's bad. That's so bad. mustn't give up. Yeah, finish them off. I oh. can't waste the chance. Nice. Alright, cool. Yay. There's another uh, smash ball. Yes, got it. Uh, left turn now. of event. What are you charging up for? Oh, it's like a Super Saiyan form or something. There's still more. A change of hair there. Wow. My god. Go on. You can take the hammer. But it's mine. Ah! Although, I'm scared I might get hit with a counter in this state. I hit him. Ah! That's funny. I was trying to fight using Byleth's abilities alone, but what matters is that I won. Good game. Mm hmm. It can be fun to play like this, especially in tag team, so I think it's a good idea to try imposing different types of challenges on yourself. Huh. The end. <laughs> Sorry, uh, song collection now. Alright, cool. Now, about the additional Apex music. of the world. Since it's from the Fire Emblem series, we'll be adding each of the new tracks to all the Fire Emblem stages. There are already a lot of Fire Emblem tracks in the game. Yeah. Our selection this time has been made taking those existing tracks into consideration. Huh. 11 wow. songs are being added. Both. This includes an arrangement of the main theme in both Japanese and English. Huh. I hope you'll enjoy these as well. We're also adding in a new spirit board. Ooh. It includes the house leaders among some of the other popular characters. So this is Legend class. Mm -hmm. Also, there's a new classic mode route, a heroic legacy, which is designed to let you enjoy classic Fire Emblem stages from throughout the series history. Ooh. I'll even check that out. The final Plus battle is against Anna. Master Hand and Crazy Hand, but you'll find that something uh. pretty amusing happens, so oh. look forward to that. Okay. Sure thing. So now for the Mii Fighter costumes. Please take a look. The Mii Fighters now. Uh oh, yeah, there's some new ones. Mii Fighters. What, what new ones you got this time? Sakurai after freaking Sans from freaking Undertale. Let's do put Sans in there from Undertale. What? 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 Are you kidding me? What? Oh, Assassin's Creed! Ooh, kind of fits the stage right there. Yeah. Oh, no! What the freak? Oh. <laughs> what the heck is this? Dude. What? Dude, works with Ubisoft to do that. Why would you grab this? Oh, yeah! <laughs> Look at that music. Mega Man, ooh, that Mega Man X, Mega Man EX, dude, God, I like this music, gosh, I just like Mega Man soundtrack music. Come on! I would dream that, but go by too fast. They actually put Cuphead in there and do some track. Even if it is just a new pirate, still Cuphead. It actually looks like Cuphead. God, I like Cuphead. Oh my god, they put Cuphead in there. Just like they do with Sans. Even if it is a new fighter, so what? It's still Cuphead. It's still there. Just as a new fighter. That's a nice way of putting uh, some DLC uh, characters in there. Even if it's just a me costume, it's still that character. Like it shoots and everything, just like the actual character. This time we're releasing a Cuphead costume. <laughs> and for those of you who Music. purchased the Cuphead costume, an additional song will be added. 
It's called Floral Fury, and it's the theme that plays when fighting Cagney Carnation. Oh gosh. I hope you enjoy these as well. I still have that play I like content though. The art style After purchasing is cartoon. Costume, I recommend using the sharing feature. Mm -hmm. If someone has created a Mi Fighter, you can play using the costume it's wearing immediately after you download it. Cool. I'll probably go play their sands. And now, so onto the it's just a Mi Fighter costume. It's still that character. It's still in there somewhere. The oh, color palette for that. Dark Samus looks pretty good, doesn't it? Ooh, yeah. Dark Samus and Richter are planned for release on Friday, January 17th. Nice. That's like tomorrow. Sorry, something. So I'm watching this the day they showed this, when I see it this morning. And now, with the addition of Violet, the fighter's pass is finally complete. Yeah. The lineup was Joker, Hero, Banjo and Kazooie, Banjo! Harry Bogard, and Violet. Harry Bogard, Violet. Wow. It's all of them. From more than 70 fighters, only five Dang. have been added. Only five. But I must say, this game has always been an exceptional experience. Wow. And since the roster was already so large to begin with, right. right from the start, we intended to make the most out of the new gameplay mechanics and so on. Mm -hmm. Got that. Ugh, there really were the a chest. lot of new mechanics, weren't there? Yeah. When we add a new fighter, we don't simply make their attacks or their movements a little different. Instead, we try to offer you a whole new style of play. I like Don Kong. Oh no, don't fall. Ooh. As I stated, we'll continue to release more DLC fighters uh, down the line. Yep, I, I remember thought that. that one or two might suffice, but wow. well, have a look. Are you gonna show another one? What the freak? New more fires in development. Unbelievable. I can't believe it's still doing this. Look at that! Dude, now there's 10? 11? What is wrong with you, Sarah? Take a freak. You get some freak, man. Mom, looks like there will be one more fighter than last time. <laughs> ah! That's funny. For this reason, we will be releasing the Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Fighters Pass Volume 2. It will Dude. be available for pre purchase on the date shown. So please Another keep an Fighters eye out. Pass. And now Another that it's one. official, we intend to move ahead with development. Of course, like last time, the contents will remain unknown for now, and I'm personally very sorry that we have to release Fighters Pass Volume 2 when the details have yet to be revealed. Oh, sorry. Like last time, I'd be very grateful if, despite that, you would understand why and purchase it. I'm okay with Furthermore, it. Furthermore, the new additions have already been decided. Heck yeah! Even if I receive many requests regarding Shante? potential Shante? candidates on Twitter, I'm afraid it would be very hard to consider Live them. forward character? A uh, half genie hero. But I still hope you'll look forward Genic? to it. I'd like to see a season. We're also including a bonus Never with know. Fighters Pass Volume 2. Could Last time, it was a Rex costume. But this time, here's what we have. What? Fighters Volume 2? Hey, what the heck? <laughs> it's a Mii Fighter costume for Mii Sword Fighter. The ancient soldier gear from The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Ooh. This will That's not nice. be for sale individually, so it can only be acquired as part of Fighters Pass Volume 2. Of course I got a free purchase the heck yeah! More fighters, I can't believe it. It's been reported that Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is the highest selling fighting game in the world. Wow, yeah. Personally, I don't know if it counts as simply a fighting game, but what I another guess award it's seen as a fighting the... game around the world. Huh. Yeah, is it a fighting game? I hear ya. Seems like Street Fighter 2 was in the lead for a while, but now Super Smash Bros. Ultimate has surpassed it in total wow. sales. Wow, really? However, I'm not sure if this is accurate. He doesn't consider fighting There were fighting five game. versions of Street Fighter 2, or 6 to 7 if you really want to get no. into the weeds. Plus, the there's the game. arcade versions and the 25 ports to other systems, so arcade? I don't know if that's been accounted for. Arcade also, version. I don't know if that really qualifies as one game. It's up for discussion. Huh. So, who knows? But when oh. it comes to a single piece of software, it seems like Super Smash Bros. Ultimate is number one. Wow. Yeah. It won Although, an award. I still don't know if it can really be called just a fighting game. <laughs> I, like how it says that. I feel like it's become more than a fighting game, some sort of celebration of gaming or something else entirely. I can see that, yeah, okay. Also, I feel a deep Funny. attachment to the five DLC fighters. What? Attachment? We can get out of the that. first fighters pass just wrapped up. Uh huh. But it was decided that there would be more DLC. Yeah. 
No breaks for me. I plan to keep working hard. I hope you can continue to support us. This guy. That's it. Thank you. Bye. See you, Sakura. Wow, he is generous. That guy. That was the video. Wow, I like that. The final. That was the final DLC fighter for the first Fire Pass. Now there's another Fire Pass. Wonder if Shantae will be in it. Half to the hero from Way Forward. Maybe you don't know if that'll be a DLC fighter or who else? Cuffhead's a as a look. Seriously, even if Cuffhead is just a costume or a Mew fighter, they still it's it's like it's still him. Even if it's just. Even if you choose Mew Fighter in order to play as Cuffin, you're still playing as Cuffin. It's like, moves around like Cuffin, shoots like Cuffin, you know, well, you never actually see Sans move around, it's like a little bullet, hell, whatever type of game you would call it. You know, bullet, shooting, shooting up the kind of game that's like, more of a, what for, is that what they call them? Those little, it's like a little arcade shooter, bullet hell or something, whatever you call that type of game. I don't know, but that's what Sans is, that's what Undertale is or something. Like, God, it's, it still feels like their presence is still in the game, even if it's just a costume as a new fighter. Like Sans from Undertale and Cuffhead. I can't think they actually put Cuffhead in there. It's still Cuffhead, okay? I don't care if people say, no, it's a new fighter in a costume. No, nope. I still think it's Cuffhead, even if it's just a new fighter costume. It doesn't even feel like a me. I mean, my point is the way they represented it, they made it like even if it's just a Mufire costume, they made it feel like it's almost not a Mufire costume. It's a costume, but they make it look like it's not a costume. But how well done the detail is and everything on it. Yeah, and they add the music in there too. It's like now they're taking over with the music on any stage. God, I like that. I like Cuffhead. So yeah, that was awesome. Well, gotta pre-purchase the next Fire Pass, and don't worry. Well, I'm not gonna say anything about me uploading content on Smash Bros. Because of course I am doing that. But I already uploaded a video on Smash Bros. I did. If you haven't noticed, I did on November 30th, of 2019, and you can check that out. Check that out in the corner of like I'll put up a card in the corner of the screen. Yeah, right there. You can click on that and go straight to, towards my Super Smash Bros. Ultimate playlist where even after this video, I will be uploaded. So I know I say that, but you know, I will. Of course, I, I know I will eventually. So yeah, of course, I will eventually. But yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to do. So yeah, that was fun. I liked watching that. That was the final DLC fire. fire. It was a little character from Violet. I always make a joke about how it seems like Harry Potter with Fire Emblem. I remember that game since E3. Like, my god, it's funny though. But yeah, I can't wait to play that. So I still got a lot of videos I gotta try and make over Smash Bros. Like, my god, I'm not kidding. I've been wanting to play Smash Bros or do content over it since it came out in 2019. But I'm not gonna say any more about like just me creating content for it because I know I'm gonna. And I have had some videos recorded, but since I wasn't able to upload them and such due to what my, what my channel's main focus is over seasonal events, but like I said, since my previous vlog, my third vlog, if you haven't seen my third vlog yet, you can go check that out. Yeah, I can, you know, yeah, check that out if you want, but anyway, yeah, that's it for this reaction video. That was fun. Like, yeah, you should see a video for Smash Bros. uploaded like after this one. Maybe not that. I'm not gonna say when, but you will. You will. Because things are changing. Things have changed with how I upload my content now. So I'm not gonna say I upload daily, but it's random whether you get videos upload daily or weekly, at, at least weekly. But because seasonal events got in the way of me trying to upload other content, even though that's my main focus on my channel is seasonal events or reaction videos. Is that that's the secondary thing, reaction to aside from things like playthroughs, you know. And I do it all seasonal, you know, seasonally. That's what I do for my channel. It's like my own niche, different from other 
can't even turn those, but yeah, that's that was a cool that was a cool reaction. Like, oh, all I say, that was a nice Smash Bros. video. Thanks, Sakurai. Thanks for sharing that. The final DLC fighter. I like that. I have to check it out. Like, I'll probably be uploading content on Smash Bros. about each DLC fighter, basically. Since I still don't have every fighter since last I played the game, but still bothers me. I didn't want to play the game as much as I wanted to, but I will be now. Since, like I said, things have changed with how I'm uploading content now in 2020. So, yeah. All right. So that's it for this reaction video over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate with their final DLC fighter. Can't wait to pre purchase the next DLC fighter pass. See what those new DLC fighters might do. Like I said, another indie character like Sean Hay from the Half Genie Girl. Like, that'd be cool if she gets in it. You never know who might get in it. You never know. But I can't believe they're still doing. I can't believe there may actually be over a hundred fighters in this game. It'll be close. If it's not, it's it's not a hundred fighters yet. I'd be surprised if it's close to that. It's just. Yeah, it's not a fighting game, it's a party game. He doesn't say it's a fighting game, but he says, I still don't feel like it's a fighting game. I mean, I still don't feel like it's a fighting game. <laughs> the way he says that. Okay, I'm just dragging this on. That, that's it for this reaction, because it's funny. So, expect to see content from me over Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Even if some of the videos I upload before my newer ones, they seem a bit old from 2018, since I hadn't, like, wasn't able to upload them. In time and so it's because of like i said seasonal event but that's all changing for 2020 so all right that's it for this reaction to everybody it was fun watching that final deal some fire in this game i went to check it out and play it for myself yeah so all right hm. yeah so let me know what you guys thought about this reaction video in the comments down below and then like that just hang on that long one like oh Oh, oh, thanks. Oh, just, just, just slap it off. Oh, it's so naughty. Slap that naughty like that. Like, oh, just slap it off. Oh, it's such a naughty like that. Oh, just, 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 just hit like one. If you like the video, it's all really up to you. You know that, right? Yeah? If you want, if you want, if you like it, yeah. Cool, right? Yeah. Or if you'd like to see more from me or any of my other reaction videos or my other videos like seasonal do videos over seasonal events which I do live on a live stream or something. And I do other like, you know, reaction videos, playthroughs, walkthroughs, things like that. So you can see more from me. You can subscribe. If you'd like to see more from me, you can subscribe to see all that stuff from me. If you want. It's up to you. So, yeah. Really, it's all up to you. So, <laughs> yeah. And with that said, thanks for watching, everybody. See you next time. Bye! Whoa! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, yeah!